Now we want to find out the descent rate of the rocket and how long it's going to stay in the air. These are two critical numbers for the Team America competition because we want to know how fast the rocket's going to hit the ground so we can design our payload bay to withstand that velocity. And we also know, want to know how long it's going to stay in the air because obviously if we're at the wrong time, we're going to lose. Okay, so for this video, I'm opening up the Quest Payloader 1 rocket and we're just going to use this as an example. Now this is the original one that we started with before we modified it in the last video. So I've gone ahead and opened up the Quest Payloader 1 and now we want to take a look at the parachute. Let's go back to 2D mode and we want to find out the descent rate. So we'll just go to edit and it lists the descent rate for this rocket and the parachute. Right now we're at 6.72 miles per hour. But we notice down here we don't have an engine loaded. So actually this rocket's going to be heavier as it descends. So what we need to do is to actually load an engine in it. So let's just go up here to prep for flight. And we're just going to choose an engine. And I'll just choose the Estes B6-4 because that's what we ran in the last video. And we're just going to say OK. So now we have an engine loaded. And notice that our mass of the rocket changed. Originally it was a lot lower than this. Um, and now we can go back to the parachute and we'll see our new descent rate. Uh, now our descent rate is 7.85 miles per hour. And also you notice the calculated descent mass at 47.426 grams where the overall weight of the rocket is 53.026. Now we, we want to ask, well, why is there a difference here? Well, the difference is that this is the calculated weight of the rocket after the engine propellant has been burned up. So the rocket got lighter, so while it has the engine casing in it, it doesn't have any of the propellant in it. So Roxim has already calculated that for us. So this number right here is a good descent rate. Now we can control the descent rate by controlling the outer diameter or the coefficient of drag of the rocket parachute. Now changing the coefficient of drag is hard. You can do it by changing the shape of the parachute, such as making an X-form parachute, or by changing the material. But typically it's pretty hard and, and, and 0.75 is actually a pretty good number for a parachute. So really the only thing that we can control is the outer diameter. And these buttons down here control that number. So if we click on low, it changes the number down here. And if we want a high des descent rate, again, it just changes the outer diameter. So clicking high gives us a descent rate of about 10 miles an hour. Now to find the duration aloft, what we need to do is actually run a simulation. And, and we already have a load motor loaded, so we'll go ahead and uh, go to flight profile or um, launch prep and we'll go to flight profile here it runs a simulation and our rockets down here and when we run the simulation by moving the slider bar or clicking the launch button we can find the total flight time in seconds over here now we can also find this actually in a quicker way just by double clicking on the simulation and it brings up the simulation details. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom we'll find the landing data and the time to landing right here. At this point let's go ahead and save this design and let's open up that last design where we had the modified rocket where it actually broke apart in two stages. So now this was, to confirm, yes, this is the two-stage rocket. And let's load an engine in it. B64. Click OK. And then uh, let's just go ahead and launch it. Now one thing that we can see right off the bat is our altitude is a little bit lower than it was when we 
ran the other simulation. And the reason for that is this extra mass object back here for the parachute in the booster stage. But ignoring that, let's go ahead and take a look at the, the parachute descent rate. First of all, our, our descent mass is quite a bit lower than it was before. Before it was about 47 grams. Since the parachute is only having to bring down this top section, our weight is way down. So that's a nice advantage there, which means that we can change the diameter of the parachute and we're going to, a, a, a smaller diameter is actually going to fall slower. So these are some of the things you have to keep in mind when doing this competition. And so that should give you an overview of how to look at parachutes that you're going to use in your rocket because this is going to be a big part of the competition.